Why, why can't you find a mechanic to fix your car for a reasonable price? This is definitely a big part of it. And I've got you on speaker, just so you know, I took you off my headset because it was messing up. Oh no, no problem. So I see that there's some active rotors. They don't have no car listed on them. So I'm not sure if it's those ones, but the number is 31056DG. Okay, yeah, it's for a 19... Sounds about right. I wouldn't know the part number, but it's for a 94 Corolla. Well, it doesn't have uh, the make model of the year on there. It just says active for a rotor. For a rotor, it's a, a Duralaz Gold High Carbon Rotor. Uh, maybe we could look up. We could t look up a '94 Corolla and then see what the part number for those rotors are. I bet it's the same because these ones are worn down, so they don't have any part numbers on them anymore. And is it for the front or the back? It's for the or front. The pad. It's the okay. front pads and rotors. Okay, and then is the engine size uh, 1.8 or 1.6? 1.8. Check it out. Okay, so looking in our system for on the rotors, the numbers does not match the rotors that's on file, and then the brake pads as well doesn't match the numbers that's on file that we have for when I look up a 94 for, uh, Toyota Corolla. Uh, but I thought I just, hold on, I have to put you on uh, mute one second. I'm so sorry. There was a crazy thing that just popped up, but I just called earlier and we looked this up and we said that we had pads and rotors for Michael's Corolla. I just called 20 minutes ago and you, you helped me. And we said that we had the rotor? Yeah. For, uh, it was in 1994 or nine. Yeah. 1994 Corolla, uh, 1.8 for the pads and rotors. We don't have those in stock. Oh, do we not have the rotors? We only have the pads. Is that what's going on? Is this for the commercial account? No, it's not going to be commercial. It's uh, DIY. Okay, so DIY. Well, okay, so I'm told that we don't have the pads, but let me check on the rotors though, because the rotors that I got is 3411. Okay. And I can go check and see if we have it. Okay. But that's that. That's the one that's on the uh the account. Okay. So one second. Okay, so for the rotor, for that rotor for thirty four one one one, you we don't have it here. We got it on fifty ninth Avenue and McDowell, Central and Rosier and twenty sixth Street and McDowell. Oh, uh, for our rotors, do they have two of them at the fifty ninth Avenue and McDowell location? Yes, they they have on the 59th Avenue in the Tell me, are these like the Duralast Pro rotors? Is that what it is? To be honest, on my end, it just, just says Duralast, so I'm not exactly sure if it's a Duralast Pro. It just says Duralast on my end. Thank you just tell me the part number that uh, that I'm going to be able to get under warranty so I don't get it mixed up. Alright, so ready? It's 3, 4, 1, 1, that's three one, three four, and three one. Uh, three four one one one, and then DG or anything else? Uh, no, you don't have to add the DG. It's just three four one one one. Okay, so that's our rotor, and then do we have the pads at the 59th Ave location? Okay, let me check. That. Cross our fingers. Okay, great. That's all I need. Do you want that number as well? Uh, no, no, that, no, that's okay. We'll figure it out from there. Okay, that's all, all right, I need then. Have a nice night. Thank you. Bye. We're about a half hour into trying to get parts. Hey, we're calling on us on PMT Cold. We are with you. Okay, yeah. <sighs> Man, AutoZone sucks, dude. This is terrible. Yeah, I started this at 8.03 is when I first called and I've been talking to two different stores and this isn't counting all the time. I spent probably an hour calling around earlier. I started this set of calls at 8.03 and now it's 8.39. I still don't have any parts ordered or, or bought. Yep, just put me on hold for four minutes straight. This is why, this is why being a mechanic 
isn't worth it because dealing with parts people, whether even if you're a mechanic at a dealership, you still have to deal with parts people. And if they're not good, they're just, that's half your job is getting parts. So half your job is gonna suck if you don't have a good parts guy. Six minutes, 30 seconds on hold. Bro, who puts somebody on hold for eight minutes with no music, no, hey, sorry, we're putting you on hold, just dead silence for eight plus minutes. This is AutoZone. This is what AutoZone does. Crazy. I mean, we're 45 minutes into this and I don't have any parts even, even located. We haven't even located the parts. They're telling me it's at a certain store. That's who I'm on hold with, but the people at this store haven't laid their hands on it and said, yeah, we got the parts yet. So what, what does that say to me? It says we have a bird in the bush is what we got. Well, it's been 10 minutes with dead silence. I'm assuming they forgot. That's the only thing I can think. Well, that's not very polite. Screaming into the phone, AutoZone, please hold, is not how you're supposed to answer the phone professionally. And I spent 10 minutes on hold with this place earlier. So now I've spent 20, 20 minutes in dead silence just waiting for them. How is that professional? How is that acceptable on any metric, by any metric? Hey, go ahead, have an uh, yeah, I was trying to talk to a manager. The... Oh, yeah, give me one second. Yeah, and he was uh, looking for a part for me, so I'm the one he's looking for a part for. Are you commercial? I am a commercial customer, yes. Yep. Man, I just feel like they're so rude to me. I just feel like they're so rude. I love how it's dead silence. There's just no music or anything. What the hell? This. Wow. Is it rush hour? Eight o'clock? At night? Is eight o'clock at night rush hour? Is that why I'm on hold for an hour? Why, why is it, what's going on here? Why am I being on hold for so long? I don't get it, dude. Do, do we fucking have these parts or no? Like, this is why I don't be a mechanic. This right here. Uh, you know what I'm getting parts for? A 1994 Toyota Corolla. One of the most produced vehicles in the world. One of the most produced vehicles ever is a 1994 Corolla and I'm on hold for an hour just dealing with parts people for an hour I love how they just ignore me and don't give any status update that's my favorite part it's how I get ignored bro imagine putting and look maybe I could say hey call me back could I ever trust them to call me back could I ever trust them to give give me a call back yeah, right. Fantasy land. That's what that is. There's no shot. If, if you don't wait on hold, they would never call you back. No way, bro. And they have such a monopoly too. Like where can you even buy parts from? You can't fucking buy parts from anywhere. You have AutoZone and O'Reilly's and Napa. And that's, that's everybody. Yeah, I don't fucking appreciate being put on hold for 25 minutes. Okay, so I've been on hold for 25 minutes. 25 minutes this time. So this time when I call, I'm gonna try something different. Hello? Oh, okay. So they didn't say hello this time. So I guess it's okay to just not say hello when you answer the phone out at AutoZone. Like just a status update, you know? Hey, do we have the part? Do we not have the part? And then they hung up on me. Hey, I, uh, I was on hold for like 25 minutes. I just wanted to see if 
uh, the manager had looked for. Yeah, the check Well, hold on. Uh, maybe somebody can help him find the part that we're looking for because it's a shock for a '94 Corolla. Uh, yeah, I'll ask him about it, so he'll give us information, we'll, we'll, I, I'll help him. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said right there. But, uh, I'll ask him. Okay, hey, I just want you to know that I've been on straight hold for like 45 minutes all together. But like 45 minutes all together, like 45 minutes all together, so just so you know, okay? Like, customers come in we're having issues here too. Cool. Excuses. That's what that guy just gave me. Nothing but excuses. Because I'm, what am I going to go, if I go up there, what do you think is going to happen? Is it just going to be like, is it going to be like this? Am I going to have to sit there for an hour? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. If I was there, there's like very little chance that they could possibly make you sit there for that long. Because they only do this because you're on the phone. That's the only thing I can think. <sighs> Bro, I am going to have to go up there, I think. Because he's saying that they're busy. He's saying that they're busy. Well, what if I go up there and they're not really busy? What if I go up there and they're not really busy? Because I kind of have a feeling that that may be the case. I kind of have a feeling that that may be the case, that they're just kind of bad at their job and that it doesn't really have to do with how busy they are. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Because I can't imagine a world where it takes an hour to get an answer on whether you have a part or not. Do we have the part or not? That's what I'm wondering, like, and and has anybody ever taught these people how to, how to like check in with somebody on hold? Uh, you don't, you, you don't just leave somebody on hold for 10 minutes straight silence. I'm on hold right now. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even know that I'm on hold right now. And would I be on hold if they just said, no, sorry, we don't have the part. No, I wouldn't be on hold. Like I would just, I would just, I would just accept it. I would just accept, oh, we don't have the part, but that's not what it is. They said, no, no, we have the part. We can't find it. So let me sit for 45 minutes on hold while they find it. But are they gonna find it? Because why would it take so long? This is so out of the ordinary. It's so out of the ordinary for anything, like if it were running smooth, it would be done. Oh man. But it's not that out of the ordinary. That's why I'm messed up right now because it's actually kind of standard. It's actually kind of common to get stood up for an hour on the phone because they're just so bad, bro. They're so bad. Oh man. I mean, why would you make me call you back? Why would you make me call you back? You can't just have a little professional courtesy to say fucking anything? Say fucking anything? Fuck me, bro. Have me just sit there in dead silence? Like, look at this, dude. There's no ringtone. There's no elevator music, nothing. He said, we got problems over here too. <laughs> dude, don't say that to a customer, man. What an idiot. What an idiot. <laughs> Crazy. The way these people talk to customers is out of hand, bro. Just so disrespectful so much. So much of the time, I'm just constantly being disrespected by these by these employees. Oh, man. And I can't just go up there because it's too far. Like, if I go up there and they don't actually have the part, well, that's going to suck. So that's kind of the main issue is I need them to confirm or deny to me whether they have the fucking part. Because my car is broken, so I'm gonna have to ride a bicycle up there. So if I ride a bicycle and then they don't have the parts, that would not be cool, so. Okay, bro, what kind of trouble takes 35 minutes? That's what I'm wanting to know. Like you're having trouble what do you mean by that? Like straight up, I called at 8.03, it's 9.13. What the fuck is going on here, dude? Like you don't get to just leave me on, like tell me what's happening. What is wrong?
Bro, tell me what's going on. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. No, 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 hold on. Hey, I've been I've been here like an hour. Can I get a status update on my part, please? The manager was talking to me like an hour ago. Like, that's... Actually, you fucking just hang up on me? Like, hey, dude, just tell me where the parts are. Yeah, okay. Hang up on me, ignore me. Hey, give me one second. Give me one second, we'll see if... Hopefully this time, maybe. You know how hard it is to say, hey, we don't have the part? How is that so hard? Hey, we're looking for the part. Hey, sorry you're on hold. We'll be right, like, not just leave me in dead silence for an hour. Crazy. And why don't people want to be mechanics? Why, why can't you find a mechanic to fix your car for a reasonable price? This is definitely a big part of it. This is what I deal with. This is common. This is all the time. This is how it is getting parts. Just completely disrespected, ignored. Won't, they literally won't even stay on the phone for two seconds to just find out, hey, why does this guy keep calling? Why is he on hold for an hour? Isn't that a little odd? Doesn't it make a little bit of uh, curiosity pop up in your brain? Like, why does he just keep calling? Doesn't it make sense that, doesn't it make sense that he would have gotten help by now? But we're just here. I called at 803, it's 916, it's 916. They won't even, like, bro, the people in line, I'm in line, I'm in line. Just cause I'm on the phone doesn't mean I'm not in line, right? And then because you're a commercial customer, oh, you get treated like trash. Because you're a commercial customer, you get thrown to the very back of the line because none of these people wanna help you because it's a completely different uh, system that they use for commercial versus the do-it-yourself section. And they've taught these DIY people that they can't do commercial. And because this is AutoZone, I know that they can do commercial, but they've been taught that they can't. So because it's AutoZone, when you tell them something other than what they've been taught, it turns into quite often them being really rude. Like, did I, did I deserve, have, do I deserve this, this hour and 15 minutes that I've been on the phone? And maybe I got a little upset right there at the end with that guy, cause how am I supposed to feel? Maybe I got a little snappy with that guy but he actually stayed on the phone a little bit longer. So maybe it, there's something to be said for that. But was I snappy with anybody else? Have I been snappy this whole time? I think I've been pretty patient sitting here for an hour just to be told, hey, we do or don't have the part. Do we or don't we have the part? Man, do you think they could just tell me whether they have it or not? Not possible. Yeah, fuck these people. This is terrible. This is such terrible service. Oh man, how long have we been recording? We've been recording for 51 minutes. We've been recording for 51 minutes. All I'm trying to do is find a part. Just, is the part available? That's all I wanna know. Is the part available? Man, what the, such disrespect. You know what I mean? Like, did I get any respect from anybody who's talked to me on the phone? No, only been it's only been disrespect. Nobody has been polite on the phone at all. Everybody has been terrible thus far since we started recording. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go up there, dude. You know what? Like, I can't put up with this. I don't care if they have the part. This is bullshit. I'm not fucking dealing with this, dude. At the very least, I'm gonna go fucking face these people in person and, and say like, hey, tell me, be rude to my face. Put me on hold now, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is such disrespect. Can you please hold? Hey, I've been on hold for like a half an hour. I, We're busy right now, man. Don't Wait you think second. that I'm in line too? Hello? Okay, well, we'll just go up there. 
fine. If you want to be like that, I'll just go up there. Okay, so I came up here. Not, I just, I was on the, I was on film for an hour. I was on film for like, or I wasn't on film for like 45 minutes before that talking to these people. I show up, there's these guys sitting out front telling people that the store is closed. I say, hey, no problem, man. The, the manager was looking for a part for me, right? And now he won't even come out and say, hey, I'm so sorry about, about fucking you over for an hour. But he sends the guy back out here to just tell me, oh yeah, he doesn't have your part. We're not going to be able to help you. Basically, get fucked is what they're saying. And there's no apology. There's no professionalism. It's just stick people on hold. Just hope that they don't need their parts if you, if you don't talk to them for long enough. And now I actually came up here and even in person, no, they could not give two fucks. They don't, they won't have the manager come out. They won't, they won't say, Hey, I'm so sorry about that. You know, sorry. We didn't help and sorry. We didn't meet your satisfaction. Fucking anything, literally anything could be said to satisfy an angry customer, but instead it's just, oh, excuses. Oh, it's not our fault. Oh, we didn't do it. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, it's you. Sorry, you're the problem. Well, you know what? The whole country runs on this sort of system where you have to go and you have to buy stuff from people at stores. So all our cars are, we buy all our parts from these sorts of places. And these are the kinds of people that are running the stores. So why don't people want to be mechanics? because half of our job is getting parts. So now we have to deal with terrible service. I mean, I spent like two and a half hours trying to get these parts and I just can't. I couldn't even get an answer to say, hey, we don't even have the parts. They could have just said, oh, sorry, we don't have them. But instead it's like, no, let me look for 20 minutes. Let me search, let me pretend to look for your parts for 20 minutes until you just turn into a fucking irate asshole and can't handle it. So, there's like three hours lost. This is why I order my shit online. This is what I get.